The sudden collapse of IndyMac Bank last week alarmed more than a few consumers. IndyMac was the third largest bank in U.S. history to go under. But how can consumers find out if their bank has potential problems? Turns out there's a secret formula, as we hear from Priya David. We've been here since 4.30 in the morning, have you? The surprise failure of IndyMac Bank last Friday has many Americans wondering about the health of their own banks. The economy has slowed down and it has caused problems for some banks. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which oversees the nation's 8,500 banking institutions, is reportedly watching 90 additional banks. But some Wall Street analysts, using a little-known formula called the Texas Ratio, say as many as 150 financially strapped institutions could fail over the next 18 months. The Texas Ratio is calculated by dividing the value of an institution's bad and delinquent loans by its cash on hand plus money set aside to cover loans that go bad. A ratio of 100 or higher means a bank is in deep financial distress. IndyMac's recent Texas ratio, 116. I'm very angry, very upset about this. The Texas ratios of other banks and savings institutions, once closely held by banking industry okay, insiders, are now leaking to the public. CBS News has obtained a list compiled just last month of 50 institutions, many with ratios higher than IndyMax. Those with the highest Texas ratios are smaller community banks, such as Colorado Federal Savings Bank with a Texas ratio of 709, Integrity Bank Shares in Georgia, 371, Stock Growers State Bank in Kansas has a 369, and Mesilla Valley Bank in New Mexico, a 362. If you are a shareholder, if you are a borrower who wants, you know, uh, future loans, then you would be concerned. But for most customers... There's no alarm for uh, consumers out there with money in community banks. Mursky points out individual deposits up to $100,000 are insured. So if a bank fails, most consumers' accounts are protected. Certainly the consumer has a lot of things to worry about these days, but one thing they don't have to worry about is their insured deposits in those community banks. But only to a point, that $100,000 per, is per person. So if you have more than that in any account, it's best to move some of it to a different bank to protect your assets. Good advice. Priya David, thanks very much.